Hey everybody, it's uh, update time with the Tesla, update 2020.28.5. And I actually found something in this video I think all of you guys are gonna be really excited about, especially if you're already a Tesla owner. So right now, as you can see on here, the traffic light and stop sign control beta, um, it now lets you go five over the speed limit in residential areas, which is huge. I've been wanting that to be something that uh, came back again for a while now. And so I'm really glad to see that it's there. It says language support as well, but you're gonna see in this video, and I kid you not, that it didn't make me touch my steering wheel on, while on autopilot for probably over 20 miles on the freeway today. On my way home from work, I realized showing you guys a few different features that I didn't have to touch it at all. So I'm really excited to show you that in the video. Make sure that you watch it because I want to make sure that it's out there that this is a huge step for Tesla. There's a lot of key things that are hidden within the update, as you can see, um, that don't actually get featured in their notes. So really, really cool stuff. All right, we're back here on the drive and uh, I'm gonna put it into navigate on autopilot real quick so you guys can see this. Uh, part of this update, I wanna see how well it's gonna handle uh, merging onto the freeway from one of the places that I've shown in a previous video. It's a common place that is typically hard for the Tesla to go around and so I wanna see if it's improved um, maybe goes up a little bit higher of the speeds. I know that the plus five mile an hour range or plus five mile an hours added to autopilot in residential areas has been super, super convenient so far. I've only used it for today and uh, I wanna see how well it does this. So we're, we're coming up here um, onto this. Let's see it change lanes. Hopefully nobody pops over at the same time as me. Oh yeah, I've gotta confirm the lane change. It's been throwing me off. I took that off because the Tesla is making some weird decisions as far as lane changes go. And so uh, I wanted to make sure that I, I had control of whether it was going to lane change or not. All right. So we're coming up to this curve that I was talking about here. And I want to see how much it ramps the speed down when it ramps the speed down and uh, how well it, it corners here because this is a really sharp turn. So this is already a little better. It usually would start slowing down right here. Uh, well, I guess it's still slowing down quite a bit right here. Um, me as a human, I would have slowed down right up here a little bit more. All right, so it looks like it's actually taking it slower than it has before. I'm gonna push the accelerator because I don't want people to get mad behind me. Um, usually it would go about 35 miles an hour there, so I don't know why it's being more cautious than usual there. Um, I'm also going to change lanes here before Navigate on Autopilot does because I don't like waiting there and then getting kicked off the freeway. So not saying that it would do that, but it has happened before, so I didn't want to risk it. All right, here's some of the new freeway parts that I was talking about. See how there's no lines right here. It just swerved a little bit because it doesn't know what's going on. It wants me to confirm the lane change. I keep forgetting to do that. And then um, there's a spot up here. I'm gonna see if I can get over to it really quick. Had to take over there. It wasn't being aggressive enough. Um, with this type of traffic, it almost needs to be a little bit more aggressive than it is. Oh, and I'm a little nervous now because looking over there, it looks like they might have painted lines. This one, they, they didn't have lines, but they had the marks. I gotta get over into the carpool lane in order for this to work and I the Tesla's trying to get it. so a lot of times in a situation like that where I have a car really close to me I end up having to push the accelerator in order for it to speed up enough to get over even on Mad Max and so it's not quite as aggressive as I would be and maybe I'm too aggressive of a driver but uh, in in this update it seems like it's being a little more cautious than usual other than autopilot updates, it doesn't look like anything else has really been updated in this. If you live in a place that can get a clean car pass, I would highly recommend it. Even, even during you know the virus right now, it's still very convenient to have because the traffic is starting to get heavier. People are starting to go back to work a little bit more. 
uh, before. Okay, here it is. Look at this. Look. No problems at all right there. Like, it took that like a champ. So here's another really interesting thing on this drive. I thought I wasn't going to record much more of this drive until certain parts, but I haven't touched the steering wheel in a really long time. I've been on Navigate on Autopilot. It hasn't given me the warning, and so I wanted to turn the camera back on to see how long it takes before it tells me to touch the steering wheel. I don't know if this is part of the update, and they made it so you don't have to touch it as often, but before it definitely made me touch it more and right now it's hasn't made me touch it in a long time i mean as you can see i don't even have my hands near it right now so i'm just letting it do its thing but let's see how long this goes um i would say i hadn't touched it in probably a minute and a half before i started recording again so i want to see how long it goes from that point and really track it so that's why I, turn the camera back on for now okay so it took me out of navigate on autopilot i'm assuming that's just a loss of service yeah looks like looks like uh okay i got nervous it actually gave me the red warning over there and it said that autopilot features would be restored next drive so i, I was wondering if it was slapping me on the hand but no, look Look at this. I still haven't touched the steering wheel. This is nuts. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it accidentally took that out or if that's a thing. If we're not going to have to touch the steering wheel. I really want to adjust the speed right now because there's cops usually around here. And as you can see, it's a, it's a construction zone. But if I touch it, then it ruins the amount of time that I've been with out autopilot so i'm actually gonna risk it i'm gonna see what goes down right here i don't see people pumping the brakes so we're probably good okay yeah we're good we're good look at this i still haven't touched the steering wheel it hasn't prompted me or anything man i hope i get behind a car though because this is pretty crazy where this construction is so i don't want to go into anybody else's lane in fact Let's see how well it's gonna keep us in the lane. I'm gonna pull up the camera here so you guys can see it as well. And, uh, oh my gosh, I've gotta have my hand over here, just in case. I really still haven't touched the steering wheel yet. It's not, as far as I can tell, it hasn't even told me that I need to yet, which is crazy. Yeah, I still haven't touched it. It's not flashing blue, look at that. Not flashing blue at all. One thing I did notice with this update too is my battery was a, either phantom draining or it kept charging stuff when I wasn't in my car. Uh, I, I did have my GoPro batteries plugged in and uh, I had left. I, at, while I was at work, it was still plugged in, but I lost about 14 miles while I was working. Maybe even more than that. I think it was actually closer to 20 or 30 miles of range so i'm i'm blown away guys i seriously am blown away like i still haven't touched the steering wheel okay Woo. right here okay ah that that got me over that yellow line a little bit there mind you i'm going like 75 in this and that's actually really impressive considering how windy that road is. I don't know if you can fully tell on here how windy that actually was. All right, here here has a couple parts that make me a little nervous as well, just because of how close the wall is. And as you can see on the camera, we, we still have the video there. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is gone. I, I don't think this feature is in there anymore. Like I said, I don't know if it was a mistake or if it's just a hidden thing in there that you don't have to touch the steering wheel at all while it's an autopilot. Um, I'm in Navigate on autopilot right now, so maybe, maybe I'll cancel out of that and then just see if it's only on cancel or uh, on Navigate on autopilot. Um, okay, still, still haven't touched the steering wheel though. 
mind you, right? So hopefully these people don't get too crazy. There's a couple more sketchy things. I'm gonna pull this up so you guys can see the wall and how well it keeps you in the line. It's funny, it, it makes me feel like I'm really close to the wall, but then when you look at the video down on the bottom left, I'm actually not that close at all. So it keeps you pretty well in the center of the lines. So I wanna show you guys that the speed limit now goes and sets it five over. I'm also gonna show you an exit here. Um, I'm headed to Home Depot and I wanna show you an exit here that it's always had problems with taking. And so I wanna see if it can take this exit and actually make it through the stoplight All right, so should set it 30 miles an hour. Let's see, I wanna try and go above more, nope. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever give you full control over it. I guess they probably still wanna maintain some safety. That car's really close to us, but the Tesla still didn't have to move, which is nice. I wonder if it'll shift over into this turn lane for me. Uh, 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 nope, <laughs> it was thinking about it didn't really quite know what to do though so soon soon I was hoping this update would be the update where it would actually turn for you at stop lights okay so this one's 35 I'll go up 40 let's see how well it handles this bend up here too this one's a pretty sharp bend um, once again don't have my hands on this at all so I want to see if it gives me the touch warning or if it was a fluke when I was in the car earlier So far, it looks like it's not gonna make me do it again because by now it would have. I think it's like usually every 30 seconds or so for me. Now it's giving the stopping for traffic indication, so can't test it any further here. The other question I had in the comments for Tesla owners out there is, um, have you stuck at a certain update and not wanted to update past it? Or are you uh, like me and you just pump out the newest updates whenever it's available? Because I like to have the, the latest updates, but at the same time, if you find out ahead of time that you're gonna lose functionality, I could see people staying on an old update until they see that it's added back or it gets the kinks out, things like that. I did I did have an update that was pretty bad for autopilot for a while there. It wouldn't do the follow distance properly. I made a video on that too. And so that was kind of one of those updates that in all honesty, I wish I would have held off on because I liked how it was driving before. Now I've only noticed improvements on this. It's cool to see it continually progress, at least in my area. Um, it's interesting because each market is always progressing in a different form or fashion, you know? And so, you know, it might might get better in one area, but might get worse in another area. Okay, so getting off this exit, you'll see how crazy it is. It's, it's a really weird one. In fact, it's got two lanes across the street, but you've only got one lane that you can go in and everybody usually takes you know that left only turn lane okay which one's it gonna choose is it gonna go okay so it chose right it chose the the straight arrow um a lot of people will go into that lane and not actually turn they'll go straight too so i think that will affect it hopefully we don't have anybody like that so we can see if it'll just follow this once again I, I don't know if you noticed but i did not touch the steering wheel i keep saying that but it it really is a cool thing at this one it might send me straight towards the car in the turn lane over there so we'll see so right now i actually have a lead car which is uh sort of good and bad because now it's going to judge it based on having a lead car go through this light and i kind of wanted to see if it would do it by itself but i, I am interested to see how it does it with the lead car so let's see Okay, so well, that, that hesitated for a long time before going. Um, well, it made it across. <laughs> it almost got me in the other lane there, but it did make it across. It never even did that before. It didn't even attempt to do it before. So like I said, I don't know if that's because it's a lead car in front of me. And so it was just following that lead car, but um, all right. 
Oh, I'm at my destination. I'm actually getting things for another video I'm putting out. We, we uh, made a fire pit, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Really, I, I would like the discussion to be down in the comment section. So tell me about your experiences with the new update. If you have a Tesla, some of the things that you wanna see improve or change, and I'll see you in the next video.